So I want to thank you all very much for your interest in playing in the Fantasy League uh, stock market game. I wanted to take a minute and do a brief tutorial on how to navigate the Market Watch website, which is the site we'll be using um, for the challenge. You do have to register for the site. Registration is free. Once you've done that and you log on to the main site, you're going to go to the right-hand side here and click on the tab entitled Games. All games that you're a part of are going to show up. Our particular challenge is called Lots of Luck Game. I am in another game called 50k to Start. Once you're on this site, this tells you the game that you're currently logged into, but you can access other games that you're participating in at the top of the screen. This particular game shows me that I'm currently ranked 15 out of 17. The game started May 8th and it ends January 4th. The screen shows me here the other players in the game and how well they're doing. You can view your portfolio, which is a listing of all the stocks that you're currently in, by clicking the Portfolio tab. And once this comes up, it gives you a list of the stocks that you're currently in. Uh, right now I'm in DNKN, which is Dunkin' Donuts. And this first column here, here tells you what Dunkin' is doing right now in the stock market. These quotes are real-time as long as the stock market is open. If the stock market is closed, it's going to show you what the closing price was for that day. You can trade during this game um, outside of market hours. Market hours are uh, central time, 8.30 to 3. Um, if you trade outside of those hours, you can put an order in, but it won't be executed until the next day that the stock market is open. So right now, Dunkin' Donuts is trading at 32.42 in the market. This tells you it's up 27 cents on the day, which is 0.84% increase over its opening price or yesterday's closing price. This shows you my position. I currently have about $6,400. Um, that's down $84 from when I originally purchased Duncan, so I'm down $84, which represents a 1.28% loss uh, since I started this position with Duncan. I do currently own 200 shares here. Um, so the first column tells you what that particular stock is doing in the market today, and then the second column represents your individual investment and how you're doing. Um, today, as of right now, is a down day in the market due to the concerns in Greece. Um, we're also entering the worst six months of the year historically for the stock market. In fact, there's a saying among traders that says, sell in May and go away, which is actually why I decided to start my game now to see who might be able to make a little bit of money in a traditionally down market. Um, okay, so now that we've evaluated the portfolio, I'm going to show you how you actually buy stocks. You're going to click on the trading tab here. and you do need to know the symbol of the stock. Um, so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and purchase a company called Jean. They're a company that uh, makes a test for the a breast marker gene for people who want to be genetically tested to see if they have a specific breast cancer gene or not. Um, okay, so once this comes up, if I click on the word gene, um, what Market Watch does is it brings up statistics on that company. So if you want to do more research on it, you can. Um, right now it's trading at 351. It's down 48 cents today or a 12% drop over um, yesterday's close. The graph here shows you um, yesterday it closed where this gray line is, and today it went all the way up to the yellow line here, and then it got all the way down to the bottom line here. So um, if you need to do some research on a company, this is one way to do it. I recommend Yahoo Finance. Um, it's a free and very easy, user-friendly way to research a stock, and I'll show you that in just a minute. So let's say I've decided to go ahead and trade Jean. I'm going to go back to my trading block here and click on the word trade, which is going to bring up my trading screen. It's going to confirm that I want to buy the stock Jean. It's currently trading at 351. I can buy or I can sell short. I can make it a day order or I can make it good till canceled. A day order means that if I want to buy it for 351 and I click on day order, um, if this stock goes up between now and the end of the day and it never hits 351 again, then at the end of today, it's going to cancel my order because it, I want to pay 351. And if the price goes up between the time I submit the order and the end of the day, if it never reaches 351, then I'm not going to buy the stock. My order is going to be canceled because I placed it as a day order. If I want to have my order be good till canceled, I'm going to click good till canceled. I'm going to 
want to buy it for $3.51, and as long as sometime throughout the day it hits $3.51, my order is going to go ahead and go through. Um, if it doesn't hit $3.51 today, then my order is still open, and if it hits $3.51 tomorrow or the next day, at the point that it hits $3.51, that's when the order is going to go through, which is what this good till canceled means. Um, there are a couple different price types structures you can do, market, limit, and stop. Market means if I leave it on this market and I submit my order, it's going to purchase however many shares I tell it to at the price that's currently going for on the market. Um, from the time I open the screen until the time I place my order, this stock could have changed by a couple pennies or in some really limited case it could change by 25% or more. Um, so I don't recommend buying things at market price because by the time you submit the order the stock could have changed drastically. So I recommend putting in a limit order. So if you want to buy it for $3.51, go ahead and type in $3.51 here. Um, pick however many shares. There is a limit de by design. I guess the game only lets you spend a certain percent of your money per one stock. So you might try to buy a thousand shares and it won't let you of this company, but it'll let you buy a thousand shares of another. I haven't quite figured out why that is, but anyway, sometimes you'll find if you're trying to buy large quantities of stock that there are going to be limitations at some point. As I typed in 100 shares, you'll notice that my order summary updated. So my investment right now is I'm buying 100 shares of Gene at $3.51. There is a $3.95 commission. I think in our game, um, the commission is set to $10, which is more reflective of the real world. So my total investment in this stock right now is $354.95. I'm going to go ahead and click submit order and it tells you that my order was submitted successfully. That doesn't necessarily mean that I own the stock, it just means that I've placed the order to own the stock. To find out if my order went through, I'm going to go back to portfolio and click on the orders tab here. And you'll can see here, I do have an outstanding order right now for Dunkin Donuts, but I do not have an order for the gene, which means that it did go through. So if I go back to my holdings button, you'll see that I now own gene. I owe 100 shares for an investment of 351. So that's how you purchase shares. Um, looking at my portfolio here, it looks like I'm down over 5% on F cell, which is um, a pretty significant percent to be down. So uh, at this point, I'm going to show you now how to get out of a stock that you currently own if you've decided um, to sell for a profit or to sell to cut your losses. In this case, I'm going to sell F-Sell to um, cut my losses. I'm going to click the trade button. It's going to confirm that I want to sell F-Sell. I want to sell. I'm not buying to cover. That's a whole other concept. Uh, same case here is with buying. You can have a day order or good to cancel. Um, when I sell, I usually do sell at market price because I'm just trying to get rid of it. So I'm going to click the submit button here, cancel out of that. It takes a minute for my portfolio to refresh, and you can tell I'm now out of F cell. Um, that's pretty much the basics of how to work within the game. Um, I do want to show you real quick Yahoo Finance. It's a great way to research companies. <coughs> so here's the company I purchased, Gene. This again is real time as long as the stock market's open. So it tells you the company over here. You can look at headlines regarding the company, although it does highlight down here. Um, these are headlines regarding Gene. So anytime Gene's been in the paper, on television, on the internet. Um, so Gene right now is listed as one of three biotech stocks on the move. Um, basic information about the company you can find on the left hand side under company profile. Tells you what they do, how long they've been in the market, those type of things. So I just think Yahoo Finance is a great way to research a company before you decide to uh, make that investment. Um, I thank you guys very much for playing in this game. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and please feel free to email or Facebook me if you have any questions. Good luck.